Today we'll be going over the Supreme Week 11 drop list. Like this video and subscribe for more Supreme drop lists and other resale predictions. The first and the most premier item of the week is the Supreme S&M 1995 BMX dirt bike. This is one of the only BMX dirt bikes that Supreme's ever done. And with the retail of 1898, it's an absolutely expensive piece. But I heard that there's only 10 or so actual bikes loaded on this site. So these are probably going to go for 4000 plus. And if you find the right collector, you could get 5000 6000 maybe even more. So I would say, if you're going to go for anything this week, go for this. Even if you probably have a 1 in maybe a thousand chance of getting this bike i definitely think it's worth it because you're going to be making thousands of dollars off any bike you cop next up is the supreme waterproof lighter case keychain drops by jay so this is finally dropping this week i think i had two other videos where i said this was dropping it actually wasn't it's finally dropping this week with the retail of 24 dollars, it's probably going to only resell for 50 so i would say it's going to be not that smart to go for this in a single cart so if you're going to get this, I would say you'd have to go for a double cart with maybe one of the, the barber, bar, barbor, one of those hats or the crusher, because this isn't going to do that well on its own. And I think with more items, you'll just have a better idea at flipping one of them. But I definitely think it's a really cool item. I definitely think a lot of people want this. So the resale value should be pretty good. Next up is the Supreme Barber Wax Cotton Camp Cap. This will retail at 54 and it should resell for around 80. This isn't going to do that good as a collaboration because I feel like all the Supreme like luxury collaborations, they only do good when Supreme puts another brand's logo on this. Like this could just be a cap that anyone could make. Like it could just be a regular Supreme cap. Like they didn't need to do an actual uh, collaboration for this cap because Supreme makes the black cap, the orange cap. And I think they've at least made a leopard print cap a couple times so you could get this cap anywhere for probably a lot cheaper than you could with this barber collaboration cap so i would say if you're going to go for any supreme luxury ones don't go for this one because it's not going to resell at all next up is the supreme over hooded sweatshirt this one's going to retail at 148 and it's probably not going to flip for that much probably 160 and especially with not getting the free shipping on this it's definitely not worth to go for this maybe not even for personal because it's just not that cool of an item there's not a lot of supreme branding on it and it's i don't know it's just a really boring item in my opinion but maybe the camo colorway could do good but i don't know just a really boring item and i just don't think anyone actually really likes this or really loves this piece next up we have the world famous zip up hooded sweatshirt this one's going to retail at 148 and i think it'll resell for 165 I think this is a really cool piece because if you go into Supreme Community, you can see the back logo. I definitely think it's pretty cool, but this one won't flip for that much, especially because it's a zip up. If Supreme made this a regular hooded sweatshirt, I think it'd probably go for like 180. It's definitely a really nice sweatshirt and it definitely would be a good personal if it wasn't a zip up, but I think because it's a zip up, it's going to lose a lot of its value because a lot of people don't like to wear the zip ups because just I don't know it's really awkward to have a zip up compared to an actual hoodie where you can just slip it on and wear it at any time. Next up we got the Supreme over dyed sweat shorts these are going to retail at 118 and they're probably going to resell for around 130 it's it's a nice it's a nice piece but with any Supreme sweat shorts these probably aren't going to flip for that much especially because they don't have any like I don't know like over the top Supreme branding like there's a Supreme spell out down the right side of the leg, but it's not like over the top and you can't really see it unless you're like up close to it. So I would say that these aren't going to do that well, but it could be a good personal item. It really just depends on if you like these like a lot or not. Next up, we got the 12 varsity jacket. And this is, I would say the biggest miss of the whole week. With retail of 188, it was definitely a perfectly priced item. I think it's going to retail at 188. But I would say if they move the back logo up to the middle of the back and they put a little, that same logo on the front as a little patch on the, the right chest or the left chest area, that would be so sick. And I guarantee this would sell for like 250, but since they didn't do that, it's probably only going to sell for like 200 and it's not really that cool of an item because it just doesn't look that good. Cause there's a logo like right where your butt is. So it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't. 
It's not good placement at all, and I just wouldn't buy it, even if you want it for a personal. Next up, we got the Supreme Barber Lightweight Waxed Cotton Field Jacket. The retail is $4.98, and the resale is definitely going to be less than that because it's so expensive. But I also just think Supreme's already dropped items like this. Why do they need to drop another one, especially when it's a collab? I think Barber's thing is like the wax cotton or the wax stuff. I don't really know, but it's not anything special, so I would not go for it. Next up, we have the Supreme Barber Wax Cotton Crusher. And with a retail of 60 it could do pretty well. It's probably going to resell for like $80. But I've been seeing the Crushers have been doing really well recently. Like the Jacker logo Crusher, that did pretty good. And the, the Punch Denim one, that also did good. So I would say this one could be a sleeper item of the week. But I don't think this one will do that well because it's just a regular item. There's nothing special about the Barber collab except for the wax part. Next up, we've got the Supreme Corduroy Cargo Pants. And these don't look that bad, and especially with the retail of 148 I think they could be good personal, but they're not going to do anything on the resale market. I think the black one looks pretty cool, but I'm not really a fan of corduroy myself. And the black and the white, I definitely think are the best colors with this, because purple and orange are so ugly. And you're not really wearing white pants, because like, they get dirty so easily. So I'd say black's the only colorway, really, if you're, anyone's going to get any of these. Next up, we got the Supreme Barber Wax Cotton Waist Bag. I definitely think these are pretty cool, but with a retail of $98, it's not going to sell for anything at all. Maybe a couple years down the line, it'll do really good, but I just don't think it's anything special, and Barber part does not add anything to this collab at all. So it'll probably only resell for like $100. So really, if you want it, I would just say get it for a personal, but... There's no other reason to get this. The the dog raglan top. I talked about this in another video, and I absolutely hate these. I hate these Supreme long sleeves so much, and especially with the projected retail of $110, this isn't going to sell for that much. Some other people like it, but I don't know. It just looks so. It just looks so bad, in my opinion. I just don't really think you can fit it with anything in an outfit. But that's just me. Alright, the knit stripe top, I think it's pretty cool, but it just it's so boring with just a stripe across the middle. But with the retail of 88, it's probably gonna resell for like 95. I think they could have done a lot better on this one. They have like a semi-Gucci colorway with the, the stripe on the yellow one being green and red. But I think that's the only one that could maybe do any resale value. It's definitely not going to do as good as it would on a white top because that's just so much more clean. But it still could maybe do $10, $15 a profit if you're lucky. Next up, we got the Hourglass Racklin top. And these, this is not, it's not good at all. With the retail of $110, it's probably only going to resell for $95. It's really not liked by a lot of people. But I, it, some people could make a cool fit out of it, but I just don't think it's good at all. If you're going to go for this... Only go for it if you want it for the personal and you're willing to keep it. Don't get it expecting it to resell in a couple weeks or a couple years even. I don't think it'll resell at all. Next up, we got the piping six panel. I just think that's such a cool name for a hat, but <laughs> uh, this is going to retail at 48 and it's probably going to resell for like $50. It's, it's nothing special. It's just a Supreme hat. And it's probably one of the uglier Supreme hats that they've put out. I think the logo on this one's pretty cool, but the piping... Makes it look not good at all. So if you're going to go for this, like always, it's only a personal. It's not going to resell at all. Next up, we got the Supreme Work shirt. With the retail of $128, this is just an overpriced shirt that you could get at any other store for about $40 less at least. So just don't go for this unless you really just love the Supreme branding and quality. Because you can get a cheaper one somewhere else. It's probably the same quality. So just don't just don't go for it. You, you don't even want it for personal. You can get a better shirt for cheaper price for yourself. Alright, next up we got the radial cam cap. With the retail of $48. It's probably not even going to resell for that much. Probably like $45. I just think this is so ugly. This is so much worse than like most of the caps they put out this year. It's just fat Supreme spell. It's everywhere. And I, I never want to wear a cap that's that loud. Like, 
Ah, God. Don't go for this at all. You're, you, you don't like it. I'm telling you, you don't like this. It's not a good looking at all. All right, last up, we got the star zip up sweater polo. I definitely think this is one of their more unique things, but it's it's not good looking at all. With a retail of 88, it's probably going to resell for 90. I definitely think it's a lot better because it has a super low retail, but you, you don't really want this. It's not that good looking of a piece. And the only reason anyone's going to buy it is because it says Supreme on the tag. There's nothing else. It's not good looking at all. And don't buy it. All right, if you want to cop any hyped items like sneakers, I don't know, just Nintendo Switches, stuff like that that's reselling right now, join the Discord. There's a link in the description. We got a lot of stuff in there. We got some Supreme monitors, some Nike sneakers monitors. There was a shock drop today, and we clutched it up. The monitors found it, and we cooked it up. So I would say join. You got free monitors. We got a lot of free stuff in there. It's a really good group, and since it's for free, I think you'll just love it. I mean, you can always leave. There's You can just join and leave. It doesn't really matter. We got a lot of stuff in there. We got free items. We got even a couple ways where you can just make some free money on the side with just like an hour of work, and you'll make like 10 bucks. If you need some money, you can just join that, and it's pretty easy money. If you don't like it, you can always leave at any time.